she came home. Carlisle's lost an empire. You fall hard enough, and you tend to be reminded of what truly matters. So, the end of the line. You ready for this? Are you? Who will you be without a score to settle? <laughs> I guess the world's most wanted fugitive will have to do. Alexa Carlyle is dead. According to the funeral invitation, that is. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. Carlyle, wisely sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlyle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlyle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlyle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very house, meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. It began here, and it ends here. Talk about poetic. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlyle keeps a case file on the constant, information that may be helpful in his recapture, so don't leave the estate without it. Right. Happy hunting, 47. See you on the other side. Thornbridge Manor. The Carlisle family's home for countless generations. The revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult children, younger brother Zachary, grandson and daughter-in-law, are all gathered to conduct Carlisle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Now, the target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, gentlemen. Sveiki esmės įtotas raždžių, jie man atrys ir mes tęsim šį raždymą ir Hitmanas Anglijoj Jo Visai kaip išsaugo filmu Namas Mes visą tai apeinam Ko greičiau apeinam į man monetą? Sorry. Į man monetą ir... Laukiam, 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 laukiam po kol jisai... Čia ateis... Ir jį... Nudėsim. Mes nudėsim šį kartą tik trys žmonės. Keturis, iš viso, tik keturis. Tikiuosi. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carla this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. A famous private investigator summoned by Alexa Carlyle has arrived at Thornbridge Manor. If you take... Hmm? Good job. Don't you <laughs> Nie, 
них с ним по себе, его бейгеры. Тип, сурбумум, камера. После помойку, ну, типа... Мистер Уитмер, спасибо, что вы здесь. Можно меня отправить в Мадам Карлайл? Я попрошу его на дальнейшем. Мы должны быть в этой комнате. Но в этом мы должны попросить вас здесь. Мистер Уитмер, спасибо, что вы здесь. Можно меня отправить в Мадам Карлайл? Да, пожалуйста. Если вы меня следуете... Mēs žaidžiam dabar už detektīvā. I know, I oughtn't say anything, but I'm so relieved you're here. Everything's just so strange. Preparing for Madam's funeral, and then she turns up alive. But then the awful business with her brother Zachary, and and all this security. I've never seen the place guarded like this, and and I dare say I don't like it at all. This is what I mean. You have to be patted down before you see Madam Carlyle inside. Oh, I could just cry. Yeah, hey, bro. Yeah, let me take a look. Just like the movies, right? Rumors, they pass it. Kikem. Up your scores. And you are good to go, sir. Thank you. Не пьешко, нияко, мискас нормали буна. Mr. Whitmer, thank you for coming on such short notice. A great tragedy has fallen upon us, and I need a quick resolution. Handled with absolute discretion. Results and discretion are my speciality. Very well. I suppose you will want to start at the crime scene. In my experience, a thorough examination of a potential crime scene is half the job done. Good. Fernsby will take over from here. I am Mr. Fernsby, the butler. Madam Carlyle has asked me to assist you in any way possible. Mr. Whitmer, I understand that you've travelled from London. Would you care for some refreshments? Or do you prefer to go straight to Mr. Zachary's sleeping quarters? I prefer to get started, as you wish. If you'll follow me, sir. I feel obliged to point out that the current affairs surrounding Madame Carlyle are of a delicate nature. You may be familiar with the recent her death. You will probably learn that the staged funeral is scheduled to take place tomorrow. Madame's children were not informed until this morning that their mother was in fact not dead at all. So please bear with them if they seem affected by the rather unusual situation. I trust I do not need to remind you that there will be consequences if word gets out that Madame Carlyle is still alive. I'll consider her dead when I leave. Before you inspect the crime scene, I will tell you this. The case concerns the death of Mr. Zachary, Madame Carlyle's younger brother. He was found dead in his bed this morning. The door was locked from the inside, and a suicide letter was found in his room. However, Madame Carlyle suspects foul play and will not accept that he took his own life. I've prepared some information for you, so please do come and see me when you've finished your investigation of the crime scene. This is Mr. Zachary's room, to my right. Mm -hmm. A locked room murder mystery, 47. I trust you'll get to the bottom of this. Deep. Why don't you use your camera to scan the dead body, 47? Throat markings indicate a rare short... ...live plant poison killed him. Spread shows time of death at around 10 o'clock last night. You do know your poisons, 47. Rastelis. Zachary's suicide note. Also, a sample of handwriting. It could be relevant to compare to other samples to establish its authenticity. Zachary was shopping for New Wellingtons last night. Not exactly what you would expect from someone suicidal. Yep. 
три, шесть. О. Мрикя с поклаустью Иисус я. Гимина с теперь супротоу. Как я же супротоу, да и мы строим виска и сяйшкин патис. Reiškia, reiškia, taip palaukit komantin. Čia nieko tušė, tušė, tušė. O. Ne, ne. Stop. Ne čia, ne. Bet aš neatsimenu, kur aš paėmėjau tą. Aš be buvau peręs šitą misiją. Perėjau tiesiog dėl įdomumo. O toliau, toliau negu šitą misiją aš neperėjau nei meno. Mes man tai buvo visiškai neįdomu. Aš buvau įdomu. 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 Aha. Aš buvau įdomu. Photocopy of the floor plans. Hmm. Somebody's been researching the secret ins and outs of Thornbridge Manor. I believe you've done a thorough search of the crime scene, 47. Maybe it's time to see the butler. I'm curious about the information he's prepared for you. Grishtam Priya. Greetings, sir. Mr. Fernsby, I'm done with the crime scene. Did you establish the time of death? Zachary died around 10 o'clock last night. Well, that means the staff were off duty. And Madame Carlyle and her security didn't arrive until this morning. That leaves Madame's family and myself as the only persons here when he died. And before you ask, no, I do not have an alibi. I was alone in my office at the time of death. Here's the material that I've prepared for you. It's a list of the possible suspects and their quarters. Hopefully that will help you keep track of your findings. Please come and see me when you've solved the case. And I will take you to Madame Carlyle. Okay. Uh, Mr. Fernsby? Mr. Whitmer, you have enough evidence to present your case for Madame Carlyle? No, not yet. Come and see me when you do. So how does one solve a murder mystery, 47? Okay. Open and... Oh. Okay. Mom, reikės visus šitos... Motive, means, and opportunity, I believe. May I suggest you ask the suspects for alibis? Patrick Or perhaps you prefer searching the man at the clues first? you were yesterday evening? Shit, it's that sneaky butler, isn't it? He ratted me out. Elaine, give us some privacy, would you? Don't tell Mother, okay? She's really tense these days, and the last thing I need is more hassle. I took that pretty blonde, um, Rosie, uh, for an evening stroll. I mean, how the fuck am I expected to cope for an entire weekend in this shithole? I'm bored out of my mind. If that's all, I think I'll get back to my slow death by boredom. What did you think of Zachary? Okay. Oh, creepy as hell. No ambition. Imagine deciding to live in a museum. You know, father says Zachary and Alexei used to be two of a kind. He had a great future ahead of him. Then suddenly, he just gave up everything. What an idiot. Thank God daddy chose looks and brains over pedigree when he married mummy. I don't have to worry about the inbreedings of customary in these circles. So, is that it? Did you see anything suspicious last night? No. I reckon Zachary topped himself. I know I would have. 
Or perhaps Mr. Fernsby. Jody Doak era. I don't like him. He could have done it. Dialogo. Am atat parasita question. Trešia skat isai alibi nepatvirtino. Nu, tai yra, mums reikia patirtinti jo alibę. Tai mums labai paprastai galima padaryti. Nuėjus į kitchen room'ą. Arba kitaip staff room'ą. Tarnaujančio personalo kambarį. Rosie, tell me what you did last night. I'm in trouble, aren't I? I I spent the evening with Patrick. We met after dinner, and I went home at one in the morning. He said he needed someone real to talk to. When he looks at you, it makes you feel like the center of the universe, like a real princess. But now he just ignores her. Well, he's under a lot of pressure. He's an idiot. That's what he is. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary? Any strangers outside the house? No, no, we saw no one outside, except Patrick's mother, Emma. We were sitting on the bench behind the greenhouse talking when she came out and um, we had to hide. You won't tell her about me and Patrick, will you? She'd insist Madame Carlyle fire me. I'm sure of it. Too right she will. She's always going on about how things will change once she's in charge of Thornbridge Manor. But he was such a gentleman. He gave me... Uh, oh. can I help you? You're no, kind of inside my coming along space. inside. Is everything ready for tomorrow? I get a headache from all the decisions. I mean, pram or stroller, comforter or not. Should I ask her to marry me? Well, she says no. On top of everything, Rosie thinks she's in love with young Patrick. I mean, that's a breaking heart happening if I ever saw one. Life can be tough sometimes. That is the door to Mr. Fernsby's office. Officer. Imam. Tipo. Visas duris katras. Raktas atidarantis visas duris. Imam šitą, imam šitą. Zachary's diary. This is big. He was about to confess to the world that he and Alexa murdered their older brother Montgomery 46 years ago. And apparently, Mr. Fernsby helped make the murder look like an accident. And 47? The handwriting doesn't match the suicide letter in his room, proving he didn't write it himself. Mr. Fernsby clearly didn't commit the murder, but I think you have enough evidence to convince Madame Carlyle he did. Maybe you should tell him you are ready to present your findings. Unless, of course, you want to do some more detecting, 47? We're in good time, I think. Kaip yra daug, labai greitai. Vat, available suspect, bet mes turėjom visą tai padaryti paskutinį eilėjį. Kadangi mums reikia apklausti va šį tavo moterį. Emmer Carlyle, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Surely I'm not a suspect. I need to account for everyone. Well, I spent the evening with my family, but I got an awful migraine and had to take to bed. Everyone can attest to that. I believe I went up when the boys sat down for a drink around eight o'clock. Anything else you want to know? How did you feel about Zachary? I might as well be honest. His presence was always awkward. But how do you have a meaningful conversation with a man who only cares about plants? In my opinion, Alexa bears some responsibility for how this ended. She supported his self-limiting behavior by letting him live here. Is that all? 
Have you noticed anything else out of the ordinary? Nothing special comes to mind. Except, perhaps, I did get a feeling that Zachary was depressed, not just sad. I suppose he realized that he had no one with Alexa gone. Even Alexa must feel the pangs of guilt over that one, letting him believe she was dead. Then again, guilt isn't her strong suit. Gregory Carlyle, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Oh, you're wondering about my alibi, Mr. Detective. Well, oh, um, I left Thornbridge around half eight for a pint with Edward. I wish I hadn't. <laughs> Quiz night at the inn. On the other hand, staying here with Zachary, my obnoxious sister, and the wife sporting another one of her headaches would have been a fate worse than death. <laughs> the, the short of it, Zachary was very much alive when we left. I stayed for the last shout, and I was back here just before midnight. Anything else you want to tell me about Zachary? Zach? Huh. Such a sad old sod. A bit heavy on the bottle. But who could blame him? Only company he had was his rare plants and mother, who travels more than she stays here. Honestly, I can't say which is the bigger ball. He's better off dead. Is that all? Not very thorough, are you? Anything else you'd like to t tell me? Nothing, really. I'm just enjoying the show. Our perfect mother obviously fucked up, didn't she? Faking her own death. You know, she's explained nothing to us. I think she's scared to own up to her own mistake. Okay. Upclausem. Upclausem. Turi but... Turi... Patvirtinta alibi. O šitą apklausim ir šitą apklausim. Du žmonės liko apklaust. Ir pateikti savo variantą. Rebecca Kala. Can you tell me about yesterday evening? We don't really see much of each other, my brothers and I. I suppose it takes our mother's funeral to bring us together. And even then, right with each other's laps. Hello. Let's see. Patrick, Gregory's son disappeared straight after dinner you know i think he might be in some sort of trouble edward wanted to go as well but gregory convinced him to stay for a few drinks before they went off for a pint at the local at a quarter to nine i swear gregory enjoys edward's discomfort over staying here i had a conference call with my new york office at nine so i spent three hours on my laptop in my room and went straight to bed afterwards i don't know about emma she did act a bit strange. You know, I bet she was making lists for changes needed to be done once she gets her hands on Thornbridge Manor. Quite the shock she had when Mother arrived during breakfast. Is there anything else you want to ask? Tell me about Zachary. Did he act strange last night? You know, now you mention it, he was a lot more chatty than usual. He wanted to know about... My connections in the publishing business. Apparently. Apparently, a friend of his is writing a book. Which strikes me as very peculiar. I didn't think he had any friends. Is that everything, Mr. Whitney? Anything else you feel like mentioning? I may be wrong. But I saw Mr. Fernsby, the butler, leave Zachary's room early this afternoon. And he seemed a bit startled when he saw me in the hallway. It's probably nothing. Oh, and one more thing. Please be kind to Edward. He can only take so much. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Yeah, this is supposed to be... And this address is close to me.
Yeah, I'm getting me by that. Talking to Madame Carlyle's daughter. Rebecca? Yes. She's insistent that one. She kept asking all kinds of questions. Who had the other one? Why I gave it to her, that sort of thing. No idea to me. You did make sure she didn't see you give the other one to the butler. Oh, of course. Gautume kažkokio tai turbūt plus ar ką ten mes pasi lančetėje kažkoks tai kodas yra aš žiūrėjau pas kitą youtuberį ar tai lančetėje ar tai kur kodas nu žodžiu kažkur yra kodas ir jį reikia sužinoti bet kadangi aš tokios Tokio tikslo neturiu Tai aš ir ne Nesužinosiu Why waste away in front of the books When he can play like that That's what it makes my heart so Čia kiek valandų? Keturios? Ar visgi trys? Vat neaišku. Penki, tai čia keturi. Jo, keturi. Keturios valandos. Ne žinau, kaip atsitikti tą savo situaciją. Profesor Edward Carlyle. Can you tell me your whereabouts for last night? Oh, yes, this dreadful business with Zachary. I stay at the local inn. You see, I prefer not to spend the night here at Thornbridge Manor. My brother Gregory came along for a nightcap. He'll never admit it, but I think yeah, he understands that I found this whole thing upsetting no, and wanted to provide some comfort. Uh, I believe we went to the Stag's Head around half past eight. Jamil. Anything else I can do to help? <coughs> Can you tell me about Zachary's behavior last night? I certainly didn't expect him to commit suicide. Sure, he was upset by mother's supposed death. Stop a second, Della. Ash, piska, yo, piska, no do. We were, but he seemed more engaged than usual. You should ask Rebecca. They had a long talk. Did you know that he hadn't left Thornbridge Manor in nearly fifty years? His plants, mother, and the staff are all the company he had. If that's all, I... Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? You mean apart from the fact that we came here to bury our mother and she shows up alive and kicking? Zachary found dead in his bed this morning? Or perhaps that the planned funeral is still taking place and I have to do the eulogy? And mother will surely have strong opinion on it afterwards. I, I can't breathe. Excuse me. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Ir pas mus iš karto Jisai atsimeta Žaidimo automatiškai Šį tėvą irgi atsimeta Matot? Džiordžiai Nu, Gregorio, ok Ne Džiordžiai Edwardas ir Patrikas Nu, o, aišku Mr. Fransby Fernsby, no. I don't know how to handle this whole situation. I don't think I can really. I, I, I can't feel my legs. I, my eyes are not working properly. This flicker thing again. You, you can't tell anyone. Viscous. Okay. Uh, Pirma mokšte viska apijom. The thing is, I've been asked before. Stop. I'm sorry, I know. 
Jurem vesus veikslus, nu kažką tai arasim gal ir ne, bet apžiūrėti vis laiką, gerai ir blogai nebus tikrai. Na kągi, laikas pats laikas kilti į viršų, jau ten mes rasim daug visko ir Ant tiek įdomaus. Ok, einam pirmą į Rebeką kambarį. Tiksliau Rebekos. Kaip manas laisvai užėina į kambarį. Nekam nematant. I can see from the log that Rebecca was in a conference call from 9 p.m. to midnight last night. Pas visus bardakas kambarį. Ok. Rebeka. Atsimėte. Emma. Liko Emma, bet mes į kiekvieną kambarį užėsim. Šitą kambarį mes atmetam, dabar į šitą kambarį užėsim ir viskas liks pasakyti tam čiuvakui, kad tas mus pravedė iki Zako kambario, kad mes pabaigėm. That door leads to Emma and Gregory's room. Deep. Okay. Čia mums reikia keturis dalykus. Surasti. Taip. Vienas. Įtarimas. Taip, kur tas yra idėja? Antras. A keychain pendant for the greenhouse. Oh. What's that doing in Emma and Gregory's room, I wonder? And why is the key missing? Now this is interesting. A letter from Emma's mother. In 47. A letter from Emma's mother stating that Emma is the illegitimate child of Alexa's late older brother, Montgomery. And listen to this. She claims to have witnessed Alexa and Zachary murder him. The plot thickens. Okay. Question suspect and search location of interest. Market of clouds? Okay. Must be true of this guy, huh? Okay, greenhouse. Are you only interested by the sodas? Yes, sodas, sodas. Can I get mom to go to eat him? Ha ha ha. Like what you did, sodas. Tip, keep 
home to shed ghetto. Can't you just relax Sorry. for a minute? And that solicitor upstairs. Why do you think he's here? I think solicitors are mother's favorite kind of people. Can't remember ever having a family with it. Bad news, I'm afraid. Oh, we don't have any extra fuses. <coughs> Ethel looked everywhere. Няко и патин го дари тез. Broken lab equipment. It looks like it was recently used though. This is a table showing lethal dosages for the poison used to kill Zachary. Something is circled 47. Female, age 65 to 79, 60 to 64 kilograms. I'd say Madame Carlyle is next in line for a poisoning. You have uncovered enough evidence to tell Madame Carlyle that Emma is the murderer. Quite the detective, 47. I'm impressed. I suggest you go tell Mr. Fernsby. Unless you think there are more secrets to uncover. Yes, sure. But he, he was upset believing his sister was... Okay, but a Curtis boat. Ed? I'd say worried about... Okay, picking on the back. I need to see us. Yo, chishimas. How things would be handled with okay. Gregory and Emma taking over. I said they let him stay here, but Ethel was sure Emma would throw him out. Miska Messiaishkanum. Begum. Do they even exist anymore? How old is this? A potato. Rudisim. Po to jau žudysim ir jau žinau, ką mes netgi nudėsim. Vis tiek du žmonės. Teks du žmonės. Jau reikia jau prezentu mūsų konkluziją to Madame Carlyle. Jau jau. Jau 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 jau. Okay. Jisai mūs pravės į trečią aukštą, kur Hitmanui buvo nepraeiti. Po kol jisai aiškinosi, kam reikalas, jam tam buvo uždrausą eit. Bet kadangi mes pasakėm šitam čiuvakui, kad Hitmanas Nu, tipo detektyvas, viską įsiaiškino ir gali paskelbti rezultatą, tai jisai mus pravės iki jos kambario, o tiksliau ofiso, nes kambarys bus kitoje pusėje, proporciškai kitoje pusėje. Tai va čia o ofisas. O čia. Hi there. This is Madam Carlyle's office. Please step inside. Your detective skills have gained you access to the lion's den, 47. Now, go claim your reward. So, Mr. Whitmer, you've reached a conclusion. Take a seat. Please, go ahead. The butler, Mr. Fernsby, killed Zachary. Fernsby? Oh, you've got that wrong. He would never do such a thing. He is the most loyal man I have ever met. I found pills in his office that matches the poison that killed your brother. Furthermore, I found Zachary's notebook, half burned, in Mr. Fernsby's fireplace. 
It showed that Zachary intended to publish a written confession to a murder the two of you committed nearly 50 years ago. The murder of your older brother, Montgomery. That's outrageous. We did no such thing. No need to feign innocence. I know a killer when I see one, and my discretion is assured. The papers also described how Mr. Fernsby helped you stage the murder of Montgomery as an accident. I believe he killed Zachary not to be exposed as an accomplice to murder. Sweet Fernsby. Hmm. You are wrong, Mr. Whitmer. He did not do it to protect himself. He did it to protect the Carlisle legacy. Mr. Fernsby, like myself, understands that sacrifices must be made to secure stability and prosperity. Mr. Whitmer, I'd appreciate it if your findings never leave this room. I understand Fernsby's actions, and there is no need for them to have more consequences than they already have. Fernsby was very fond of Zachary, and I am sure his decision will haunt him to the day he dies. About your reward, have you considered an amount? I want the file you have on Arthur Edwards. Arthur Edwards? The Constant? But that must mean you're... Oh. <gasps> I expected you'd show up. But you're not here to kill me. If you were, you would have already. The enemy of my enemy, I suppose. You can have it. You earned it. The file you want is in the safe. Where are you going? Please. Right. Where were Good we? Good work, 47. That's the file on Arthur Edwards secured. Time to take safe. care of Madame Carlyle. Good hunting. I need some privacy. Thank you. Please stay back. Mission complete. Well done, 47. He did it to protect the Carlisle legacy. Mr. Fernsby, like myself, understands that sacrifices must be made to secure stability and prosperity. Mr. Whitmer, I'd appreciate it if your findings never leave this room. I understand Fernsby's actions, and there is no need for them to have more consequences than they already have. Okay. Fernsby was very fond of Zachary, and I am sure Mas his decision will haunt him to the day he dies. About your reward, have you considered an amount? I want the file you have on Arthur Edwards. Arthur Edwards? The Constant? But that must mean you're... Oh. <sighs> I expected you'd show up. But you're not here to kill me. If you were, you would have already. The enemy of my enemy, I suppose. You can have it. You earned it.
Sir. The file you want is in the safe. Good hunting. I need some privacy. Thank you. What mess are going Good work, 47. That's the file on Arthur Edwards secured. Time to take care of Madame Carlyle. Mission complete. Well done, 47. No, be musu pagrindinio. Taikinio. Tai nužudėm realiai tik tai vienu žmogu. Stop. Pasiklydau vėkiamai. Trys variantai? Trys variantai, jo. Na, bet aš pasinaudosiu tuo, katruo atėjau, tokiu ir pasinaudosiu. Kaip atvažiavom, taip ir išvažiuosim su motociklu. Ir praktiškai tik vieną kartą, nu ne praktiškai, o realiai tik vieną kartą persirėm. 47! Kas čia buvo? Ką tik? Tai neįsivaizduoju. Bet aš ir Hitmanas jums sako, atsivažiuojat. Iki pasimatymą radžiakom, duok praks paskui like ir dalykite su drugais feisbuke. Nepamirškit mano Instagramo, nes kitaip pas jūs ateis Gitmanas ir jūs nukilinas. O aš jums sakau, ačiū, kad džiūrėjot, iki pasimatymo ir ate.